In this video, we're going to start the free CUDA software worksheet under the Infinite Algebra 1 tab, Naming Polynomials. And I'll leave a link in the description box below so you know how to access this free worksheet provided by CUDA software. Now, our directions are to name each polynomial by degree and the number of terms. So I'm going to show you a table or chart that's useful for naming the polynomial. First, let's look at it by degree. A degree is the value of the greatest exponent. So if the greatest exponent or the largest exponent in the polynomial was one, then that's going to be known as the first degree, which we can also call linear. If the exponent was two, so you had x squared as the greatest or p squared or so on, that is known as a second degree polynomial. And the name for that is a quadratic. Now let's say that the highest exponent held the value of three. That would be a third degree polynomial, which is known as a cubic. Fourth degree, the greatest exponent with a value of four, that's known as a quartic. Exponent with a value of five as the greatest is known as a quintic. And six and on is not really necessary to memorize. So for six on, we just say, the number such as sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, so on, and then degree. So that's how to name the polynomial by the degree. Now let's look at the terms. If you have one term, it's known as a monomial. Two terms is known as a binomial. Three terms, that's going to be a trinomial. Four terms and on, we just say a polynomial with whatever number, four, five, six, so on, terms. So the binomial and trinomial are still considered a polynomial because they have multiple terms. So let's look at number one, knowing this information. And I'll zoom out just a little bit for the first one so we can still see the table. And number one, let's first find the degree. The largest exponent is the number four. So we know that the degree is going to be quartic. Now we just have to figure out the number of terms. We have two p to the fourth, that's one term, and then p to the third is the second term. So it's going to be a binomial. So how we would write this is going to be quartic binomial. Let's look at number two. And number two, we have negative 10a. Right away, we can see that's only one term, so that's going to be a monomial. And this a is equal to a to the one. So the greatest exponent value is one. So here, we're looking at a linear monomial. So linear monomial is the answer for number two. Let's go on to number three. In number three, we have one term. So if you remember from our table or our chart, that's going to be a monomial. And the degree is two, since two is the greatest exponent. So looking at the table, a second degree is known as a quadratic. And this has one term. So this is a quadratic monomial. Let's go on to number four. In number four, we have negative 10k squared plus seven. The degree is the value of the greatest exponent, which is two. So this is gonna be a quadratic. And there are two terms. So this is going to be a binomial. So for number four, we have a quadratic binomial. And number five, the greatest degree is this value of four. So that's going to be a quartic looking back up at our table. And the number of terms is one, two, three. So there's three terms in this, so it's going to be a trinomial. So with the degree and number of terms, this polynomial is known as a quartic trinomial. Number six, our exponents are a three and a four, but the four is the greatest. So this, again, is going to be a quartic. 
Also, there are two terms, and we know that two terms is a binomial. So the name of the polynomial, negative 6a to the fourth plus 10a to the third, is a quartic binomial. The exponent with this n is a 1, so we know that this is linear. And there's only one term, so it's a monomial. Number 7 is a linear monomial. And number 8, we didn't go over in our table. There's no variable, so there's no a, x, y, or so on with that 1. So the 1 is not a coefficient of a variable, it's just a constant. So the degree of this would be 0, so it's a constant. And there's only one term, so we know that's a monomial. And number 9, this n has a degree of 1 and therefore is linear. And there are two terms, the negative 9n and the 10, so it's a binomial. The answer to number 9 is a linear binomial. And number 10, the highest degree is this 2. That's going to be a quadratic. And there are two terms, so this is a binomial as well. So putting the degree and the terms together, we get a quadratic binomial. And number 11, the greatest value of the exponents is the 5. So this is going to be quintic. And counting the number of terms, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. And remembering from our table, once we got past 3, we would just say polynomial with and then the number of terms. So four terms. So this is a quintic polynomial with four terms. In number 12, the greatest value for the exponent is seven. So this is a seventh degree polynomial, but there are two terms, so the polynomial is classified as a binomial. So for number 12, we have a seventh degree binomial. In number 13, the greatest value for an exponent is 4. So this is going to be quartic, and this quartic polynomial has four terms. So it's a quartic polynomial with four terms. And lastly, in this video, we'll do number 14. In the next video, I'll do the second half of this worksheet, numbers 15 through 30. The highest value for an exponent in number 14 is 7. So this is a 7th degree polynomial that has four terms. The 9v to the 7th, 7v to the 6th, 4v to the 3rd, and the constant 1. So it is a 7th degree polynomial with four terms. Before you continue on to the next video, please remember to like this one and go ahead and subscribe to my channel while you're at it. And you'll get updates about when new videos are coming out and what to expect.